Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the bimetal defrost thermostat on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a pair of wire strippers and crimpers. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it. Then next we'll want to empty everything out of the freezer and put it in a suitable storage spot. We'll also need to remove the shelf. So just lift up, pull it away from the holders, and set it aside. Now in this model, we'll also need to remove the floor of the freezer, as well as the evaporator cover at the back. There are quarter inch hex head screws that secure those in place. Now with the two screws removed on the bottom, we can then pull that floor over the refrigerator and we'll set it aside. Now if your model has an ice maker in it you'll need to remove that. If it doesn't we'll next need to remove this screw that secures the cover for the ice maker harness. Just tilt that cover up, unhinge it from the top, and you can pull that harness out far enough that you can disconnect it. And a couple of little plastic tabs that secure that harness to the cover, and then set that aside. There's also a ground wire attached to a metal tab there. You can either remove that at this point or wait until you the cover off. So next we'll take those two quarter inch screws out from the top. And then just tilt that top forward, lift the air channel out of the bottom, fit the wire harness through that opening. You'll then see that ground wire attached at the front just pull that off and then set that cover aside. Now that we have the evaporator cover removed, we now have access to the defrost thermostat. It's located up in the right hand corner at the top. Your model will probably be covered with frost and ice on the evaporator, so let that thaw out first. And then we'll just release that spring tab clip that is on the bottom of that defrost thermostat. Pry it off with the Tubing. We'll then cut the wires on the existing thermostat back about a couple of inches. Discard the old thermostat. And then we'll want to strip the insulation back on those wires all about three eighths of an inch. Next, we'll take the new thermostat, make sure we have the insulation stripped back from the leads on that as well. And we're simply going to attach those with wire nuts to the existing harness. Make sure we have a nice tight connection.
And I also suggest that you wrap those with some electrical tape just to keep them out of the way of the evaporator and the tubing. We'll carefully tuck that in behind the capillary tube and then we will attach that spring clip onto the tubing in the same location that the previous one was on and support that tubing to the evaporator as you're pushing that on. Make sure it makes a nice positive contact. And now we can put the evaporator cover back on. Now when reinstalling the evaporator cover, things we need to take care of. We need to make sure that we attach the ground wire to that little metal tab and also to fish the wires for the ice maker out through that opening. We may need to give that ground wire a little crimp, make sure it fits on nice and tight, and then position that outlet duct assembly down into the opening in the bottom. Tuck the harness through the rectangular opening for the ice maker. And then reattach the screws at the top. Next, we'll fit that ice maker harness into this little clip on the side of that cover. And if your model had an ice maker, we would reattach that at this point. Fit the cover into position, reattach the screw. And then we can put the freezer floor back in. Make sure it fits under those two little tabs on that air channel at the back. And install the retaining screws. shelf back in. We're ready to reload the freezer, reconnect the power, and our repair is complete.